Before they break, any other question or comment? Is it a question or a comment? Question. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So in the process, when you were asking us to, when ask Cecilia to ask us uh, if we could help her, right, in this process. Okay, so that's into a Yeah, and to, and to help her explain, to help explain, then, <coughs> then um, you're asking us not to actually give an explanation. You're asking us to adopt the posture of the, the questioning of the philosopher as um, con- consultant. Yeah. So, uh, so, for example, when I, yeah. I, okay. should have, I should have said... Um, but no, do you want to answer to the question? After I say this. Okay, but you see, yeah. let me give it to you. Okay. There's a trick to questions, okay. the least possible. Because if you start thinking things, then it, it, it becomes making a point. So do you want to make a point, or is it really a question? Well, it's really a question I want to an answer to. Okay, so let's hear the example. Then let's see the fun thing. You want to give an example? Yeah. Then we're going to listen to the example, sounds like uh, something to question, or if there's a point that you want to make, okay? Just fun. Oh, okay. You see? We'll listen and we'll see. Is it an example? Is it trying to make a point, or is it an example that posits a question? All right? That sounds interesting. Go ahead. Give me the example. So, so when a uh, person <coughs> asks me or asks anyone, can you help me, which was what you asked here to ask that person, then um, in the example of my response to her, it was an explanation because I thought before when we were going through the um, the questions of this idealism, pragmatism, I thought at the end that she said, oh, I thought it was a nihilist. Mm-hmm. Then my response should have been, uh, did instead of going and explaining this is you know, how I thought she said the right thing or what fit, would have first instead should have been, uh, should it have been, um, Cecilia, did you say before that um, you thought you were a nihilist? And then proceeded to continue to question. Okay, good. So you have given an example. That example, does it rather make a point or does it rather raise a question? And I think I'm raising a question of whether uh, sh- 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 don't, 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 don't justify yourself. Okay. Just say, yes, it's uh, raising a question or yes, it's raising a point. Okay. A yes. question or making a point, sorry. Oh. Okay. Who thinks indeed it's rather raise a question? Raise your hand. Who thinks it rather makes a point? Raise your hand. Surprised? Well, surprised or not? I would have, you know, no, I no, no. Are you surprised or not? No. No, you knew it before. <laughs> I would have said both. No, Jeannie, Jeannie, what you would have, we don't care. I call that telling one's life story. We don't care. You said you're not surprised, right? Right. So, how, how did you know? Because I knew it before. So you lied to us when you said that it was a uh, genie. Do you see the point? I said, I said, is this a question or is raising a question making a point? Oh, it's raising a question. That's the other. Is this? No, this, no, it makes a point. That's the first question. You're surprised? No, I knew it before. Do you see the problem? No, 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 genie, genie, genie. Yes. No, I do see no, your genie, problem. Genie. Oh, yeah, I see the yeah, problem. Genie, you're you're pointing pointing now. You get big random because otherwise you get a ooh, you get a hyper random. Do you no. see the problem? It's a classic, by the way, it's a very, very classical one. Somebody says something, which is to me obvious. I ask the others. The others, m- most people, yet one person agree, all the others don't agree. So I go back to the person, say, are you surprised? And in general, they say, no, I'm not surprised. And I say, then I don't understand. If you're not surprised, that means you have an explanation, you knew, you could predict people were going to disagree with you, and you have an explanation about why they disagree with you. Yes? yes? Let's hear the explanation. Because I would have said both before, but you would have rebuked me and said, no, you have to say one or the other. Okay. Who thinks that's an explanation? Raise, who thinks that's a clear explanation? Raise your hand. Who thinks that's not a clear explanation? Raise your hand. Yes, and that's what we get. And then people, why? Because people go, blah, 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 blah. And it makes sense for nobody. Because people don't want to admit there is a problem in what has happened. So they try to put two things together that, that go together about as well as oil and water. Yes? But that's what? Because why we don't accept to be a foreigner to ourselves. We don't accept to be a stranger to ourselves. But the good thing, there are strangers here. So when you say something, this stranger says, it makes no sense. But we cannot admit that what we say makes no sense. 
And for me, that's the advantage of otherness. It says you say, what are you doing? This makes no sense. Because in general, people you know, do they like to admit that it makes no sense what they're doing? Do they like to say it or to admit it? No. No. But do they do it? Do they do it? Yes. Okay. Huh? Now, is it possible we are the same? We say things that don't make sense, and like them, we don't want to admit it. Make sense? If you see people that say things that don't make sense and won't admit it, as you see, in Hawaii, like in there, where else, then is it possible that you do the same thing? Yeah. Okay, that's it. But in general, we don't do this. Here, in this kind of exercise, that's what we want to see. A moment says, we're, okay, this hand raising is designed for that. Now, maybe that's because they're not very smart. And they don't see how deep and profound and subtle what you're doing. But it doesn't matter. If it's so subtle that nobody sees it, well, that's the reality now. That people say, you're too smart for us. And you make funny faces. <laughs> yeah, because that's in general what we do. When people, in fact, you know this? When someone, everybody disagrees with him, he'll say, oh, people just don't understand. Right? You know that argument? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's how we do it. But the idea that it does not make sense would not cross our minds. It's just they don't understand. But maybe they don't understand because it cannot be understood because it doesn't make sense. But to say, we see it in the others, but that's very difficult in ourselves to see what does not make sense because that's ours. My house is ugly, but it's my house. I'm going to defend it. I live in there. I'm not going to start putting down my house. It's my house. I, it's the only place I live. So, you know, so the castle may be big, but I don't care. My house is my house. Yeah? Right? That's a proof you're human. You're happy you're human. Not in this context. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Nietzsche write human to human? You know? It's mm -hmm. us he's talking about. He's not talking about the Germans of his time. He's talking about us today in the seminar. Or too human. Yeah? And I tell you, uh, uh, when I watch, uh, uh, when I do a, a, a question, thing for a consultation for one hour, yes, and I, then I watch the movie, periodically, I say, ah, there, ah, there, you know, there, yeah, yeah, normal. Now the question is in proportion, but there are moments where you try to, ah, you know, you're a bit human there, you know that question, <laughs> yes. <laughs> What if Myers, okay, so, so let's go back and let me ask a no, question. But first, before, did it make sense what happened the last five minutes? Does it make sense? Uh, it makes sense, but it wouldn't No, be no, great. just please. please. <laughs> Does it make sense or not? Yes. Okay, that, that, that's all. I prefer we stay at that, okay. stay by that, we'll, we'll come back. And what happened now, you, uh, there's another secret to this kind of workshop. When it happens to you, it's confused. When it's going to happen to somebody else, oh, this is very clear. I see exactly the problem, yes. When it happens to ourselves, because there's two things, there's the objective and the subjective. So but you'll see it. When it's going to happen, the same thing to somebody else, you'll see, oh, yeah, I see it very well. So just, I prefer you wait. And you'll see it's going to happen all the time. It happens all the time. People become human. Yes, but what if you... No, no, can you trust me? Let's leave it for now. And later, we have the whole week together, you know? You know, uh, unless there's such an emergency that we have to do it right away. Is there an emergency? Yes. Then if there's an emergency, <laughs> don't <laughs> say it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think I the first emergency is to get out of an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you okay. yeah, oh, say that's beautiful. Say it again. That's not fair. Oh, okay. Now you start getting the point. Fairness here is not the issue. Not at all. I know this because uh, if the gene is into uh, peace, education, uh, political consideration. Now, for me, philosophy is totally unfair, and it's fundamental to be unfair. Fairness is another issue. Okay, fairness is not the issue. It makes sense to you or no? It, it, it can make sense. Okay. Just the, for me, I'm totally unfair. I have no pretension to be fair, mm -hmm. because I think the world, the reality, has nothing to do with fairness. Fairness is a, another problem of justice, but I'm not concerned with fairness. Is that okay with you? Then you're not surprised, you're not fair, since I'm telling you that I'm not fair. Are you okay? Yes. After this avowal of my, you know, inhuman, you know. 
Well, then it just makes me understand what the, your process is. Oh, well, then that's very good. Okay, so now we got something. Oh, <laughs> is there any last before the, the break question or comment? Okay, George, question or comment? Question to Cecilia. When answering Oscar's question, did you express a judgment on your behavior or did you explain your behavior? Okay. Do you understand this question? I express a judgment on, on my behavior. That was the problem with Okay. So, did you take another question that your idealistic self beat up your realistic self? At that moment. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm sorry? I don't think so. Can we get a little, uh, um, uh, how do you say this, uh, exegesis of your, <laughs> what did you try to accomplish with this? <laughs> <laughs> so there is a thing. Cecilia <laughs> said that her idea. No, no, what was the purpose of, of what you have done to her? To show that her idealistic self was expressing the answer. Was expressing the answer she gave. All right. For whom this makes sense, raise your hand. <laughs> For whom it doesn't make sense, raise your hand. Okay. So it was very esoteric. Only okay understands it. No problem. No problem. <laughs>